Kenny Segura will be leading things off. Great to see him back in the starting lineup after being hit by that pitch on Tuesday. Segura was hit by a, an Archimedes Caminero pitch in the top of the seventh inning on Tuesday night. Then in the bottom of the seventh inning with a man out and David Freeze coming to the plate. Evan Marshall hit David Freeze with a fastball well inside. And at that time, I was on with Steve Blass on the TV side, and I mentioned that uh, these two teams, I said earlier, they have a history going back to the Goldschmidt uh, McCutcheon incident of a couple of years ago. It was pointed out actually that uh, a year before that, James McDonald had hit Aaron Hill, then of the Diamondbacks, and went on to say, and my exact words were, there he is as. Our director Pete Toma took a shot of the visiting general manager's booth and chief baseball officer Tony LaRussa, the Hall of Fame manager, as Mercer throws out Segura one away. My exact words were, there he is as manager of the Cardinals, A's, and White Sox. Always believed that you had to, well, essentially retaliate, even though Caminero wasn't trying to hit Segura. And then in the when the final outs were made in that bottom half of the inning, I was startled when we were about to come back from a commercial break to be uh, standing there alongside was none other than Tony La Russa, who was uh, really upset with what I had said. And uh, I took my headset off and I went back. I took this heated discussion back behind the curtain here so that we would not be in public view. And I have always respected Tony La Russa. In fact, to the point where I've defended him over the years with going back to his days as manager of the St. Louis Cardinals, much to the chagrin of many uh, around, speaking more about fans than, than anybody else, but I mean, uh, you know, over the years he's been a controversial figure, but I have always defended him. I've liked him, and I said as much to him in this. Uh, Again, very heated argument that we had, and I was startled that he would leave his general manager booth and, in the middle of a ball game, come in and disrupt the broadcast. So I left it at that. I did not want. I didn't want this to become a story. I didn't want to embarrass Tony Larusa. Too much respect for him, and so when asked. Uh, kept quiet about it and hoped that it would pass. But uh, Tony La Russa last night to a, an Arizona newspaper quoted as saying that uh, he acknowledged that he went into the broadcast booth Tuesday night after a quote he heard some stuff on the air and quote that he considered inaccurate about his history with retaliatory pitches during his managerial days quoting La Russa. I never have stood for inaccuracy, so I corrected the inaccuracies. It's about taking responsibility. If you're going to speak untruths, then you're going to get challenged, and you should be responsible for what you say. I am. I reacted. Well, now I react. I didn't speak any untruths. I spoke completely accurately, and I'll stand by every word I said. Again, I didn't want it to get to this point. I don't want to get any more squabbles, but I need to tell my side of the story, and that's that. Unfortunate, and I, again, I don't, I don't like the fact that we're even talking about it now. But I want to defend myself and and the Pirates and this organization. Well, you're both taking your shot. Now you get a warning. Right? Is that how it works? Well, and, and what's interesting about you say that, and I know tongue in cheek, and tongue in cheek, but it was Larry Vanover who, by the way, and this ball is going to be a double play. It was Larry Vanover who issued the warning after Freeze was hit the other night. Yeah. David Freeze was hit, so he warned both benches. Double play. 3-1 Pirates. <laughs>